हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी अगेन एंड येस्टरडे आई हैड मेड अ वीडियो ऑन राज योगाज एंड मैनी पीपल हैव लाइक इट एंड मैनी पीपल हैव रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक अ वीडियो एज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सर्टेन राज योगाज विच समबडी कुड हैव इन देर चार्ट बिकॉज मैनी टाइम्स it is very difficult to just theoretically understand stuff all right so here we go today we have an example chart here this is the chart of a very wealthy businessman and this person has achieved great success in his career in a very short amount of time and uh, these are the birth details of the person He is born on first September nineteen eighty five, ten forty seven a.m. in the morning, and Ujjain is his birthplace. All right, Ujjain is a uh, place in India. It is very famous for worship towards Lord Shiva, of course. All right, so today we will discuss on some very powerful Raj Yogas which this person has and. there are many other things which we could discuss in this chart which we will not discuss due to the interest of time and there are other principles of jaimini nadi and kp which i will ignore because this video is only on raj yogas okay and you can go on drawing unlimited parallels you have the birth time you can do research on the navamsha or the dasamsha chart you are free to do that okay All right, and if you are new to the channel, then please uh, subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your chart or any of your Raj Yogas, then you could always go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to the website to book a reading with me. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him. All right, so. i will demonstrate some uh, raj yogas here and some uh, great combinations for wealth also okay so according to the definition of raj yoga if the lords of the kendras and the trikonas are having any kind of association which means if they are exchanging each other's houses or they are conjunct anywhere or if they are aspecting each other or if one of them is aspecting the other house and the other is sitting in the one's house then raj yogas are formed this makes a person very committed very strong very geared towards achieving things in life all right so now let us see now if you see honestly this person does not have too many raj yogas that is why i tell people that don't keep counting your raj yogas okay he has 20 raj yogas i have only two yes so in this chart if you see i have taken the pointer the lord of the fifth house is saturn here saturn is the yog karaka because it's libra lagna yog karak means a planet which lords a kendra and a trikon simultaneously so saturn is lord of the fourth house because the sign 10 capricorn is here and 11 is aquarius which is here and this yog karaka is exalted and it is in the lagna okay so lagna is primarily considered to be a kendra therefore e the lord of the trine sitting in the kendra this is a very big raj yoga and uh, this saturn also aspects this venus you see all the venus doesn't aspect saturn but saturn aspects venus through its 10th aspect so this is a very powerful yoga which is formed and this is the fourth kind of yoga which is there so here what is happening is saturn is aspecting venus and venus is aspecting the uh, house where uh saturn which saturn is ruling okay so this is also a kind of yoga which is there therefore fifth house is the house of past life good deeds all right so those things automatically come to the lagna and 
Saturn is not in any uh, bad dignity here. In fact, it is well placed. It is in exaltation because Saturn gets exalted in Libra. So this is a great placement to have. Then let us see where the Ascendant Lord is. The Ascendant Lord is in the 10th house. So whenever the Lagnesh is in the 10th house, it is known as Siddhi Yoga. Siddhi Yoga means whatever the person does, he obtains success in it. And now you see what is happening. Mercury is the ninth Lord. It is sitting in the 10th house with the Lagna Lord. Oh my God, this is a very big Raj Yoga. Can you just believe it? The Lagna Lord, the ninth Lord and the 10th house. You know, these three are the most important houses in a chart. The Lagna, the ninth and the 10th. So these three houses are coming together, you see. I mean, what else do you need? So now here, see, another Raj Yoga is there. There is Dharma Karmadipati Yoga also in this chart. How? Because Mercury is sitting in the house of Moon. Moon, is, moon rules Cancer and Moon is aspecting Mercury's house. Moon is aspecting Virgo. Okay. So this is again the fourth type of yoga which is there dharma karma dipati yoga just like venus is uh, saturn is sitting in the house of venus and venus is aspecting the house of saturn okay so similarly mercury is in the house of moon and moon aspects the house of mercury <coughs> so this is one dharma karma dipati yoga is there ninth lord tenth lord in in association then the Lagna Lord and the ninth lord are so the ninth lord in tenth is also big raj yoga so now this is a phenomenal yoga which is occurring in his 10th house you see so that means now see uh, 6th house is primarily the house of job and whenever the 10th lord sits in the 6th uh, the person may be working under somebody sometimes okay but here what is happening is uh, the Lord of Lagna is sitting in the 10th house and 10th house shows independent profession, own work, okay, own business, own consulting, own company. So initially this person as the 10th Lord is in the 6th was working under somebody but gradually this person started uh, doing his own business and he had tremendous success, tremendous name and fame and phenomenal growth in his career, okay. And this is because although the 10th Lord is in the 6th which forced him to work but ultimately Lagna is intelligent. So his intelligence told him that no, no, you should not work under somebody. You should go and have your own profession. Okay. And this person has Dharma Karma Dhipati Yoga which I said, you know, Mercury Moon are linked. So this person is very spiritual and 5th Lord in the Lagna also can make somebody very spiritual at times. Lagna Lord combined the 9th Lord is also making him very much respectful towards uh, God and traditions and Indian culture especially. And uh, for wealth, there are multiple combinations. So the houses of wealth are 2nd, 6th and 10th and 11th. So whenever these lords are sitting in their own houses or each other's houses, then there is tremendous wealth which comes in. Okay. So now you see in this chart, 11th Lord, which is Sun, because Sun rules number 5 Leo, is in its own house, okay? This is fantastic for uh, stability of income. Then you see the Lord of the second house, which is Mars, is situated in the 11th house. Second Lord in the 11th, fantastic for income. Then the Lord of the 10th is in the 6th, again fantastic for income, okay? And if you see the 6th Lord, he is not in 2nd, 10th or 11th, but he is aspecting the 10th house. That is also very good, being Jupiter. And uh, apart from that, if you see, this person's Kendra is extremely powerful. Okay, So, he has too many planets in the Kendra. And when the Lagna Lord is in Kendra, being Venus, then the person is very much geared towards uh, getting name and fame in life. Okay. And there are multiple things which we can uh, see in this chart, you know, and uh, 12th Lord is in the 10th house. So international fame is also there with this person, okay. 
8th lord is in the 10th house this can also give him sudden uh, ups and sometimes downs also in career which this person has seen to some extent but primarily uh, because venus is the lagnesh and the mool trikon sign is here so it is it is a great benefit okay for this chart all right so and yes the second lord and 11th lord are also conjunct here this also indicates great financial prosperity okay so now the question is how should this person activate this raj yoga so the biggest raj yoga which he has is in the 10th house okay because the lagnesh and the 9th lord is conjunct in the 10th house so this person should start his own profession okay own work then this raj yoga gets activated and uh, because it is mercury and venus so this person has some business related to liquids and finances and financial stuff and uh, i will not reveal more information about this person so anyway so the conclusion is how to activate this raj yoga okay so he should start his own profession then this raj yoga gets activated okay so that is it from my side and uh, there may be many other things which i have ignored in this video because that is these that may not be the focus of this video and now you may comment below oh this is bad that is worse this is terrible this is not nice that is horrible well you can comment whatever you want but ultimately uh, this person is having a great time in his career and he is also a very happy person okay so let us see the positives in the chart and let us ignore the unnecessary filthy garbage which we might be seeing okay in anybody's chart because the default tendency of us is that the moment we see a chart we will always see the negative things okay we never see the good things so for example i had showed this chart to another astrologer and he was laughing at this chart you know why because he said oh look at the condition of venus it is afflicted by saturn his lagna has saturn ketu rahu is in seventh his married life will be ruined blah 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 so much nonsense that astrologer was speaking and then later on of course i told him whose chart this is okay so anyways he was surprised later on but anyways my point is that uh, we should try to see the good in others in people and also in horoscopes okay because horoscopes are also people only okay so there you go and uh, if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who um, wants to know how to activate the raj yogas and uh, if you want a consultation from me then you could always go down to the description section of my website uh, of my videos where you will find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much